Let me go ahead and teach you how to install shaders for Minecraft 1.21. And something pretty cool about the method that we're going to learn today is that you could just press a button and take the shaders away. And also you could press that button again and get the shaders back up. So let's go ahead and get started. Now guys, the first step to get shaders in Minecraft 1.21 is to click the second link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Iris. Feel free to read through the guide, but if you just want to follow along, scroll down and click where it says download Iris here. That will redirect you to the Iris page where you're going to click download now. And then you're going to go ahead and click where it says download universal jar which will begin the download immediately for the installer of Iris. And while Iris is downloading, I want to let you know about today's sponsor, Apex Hosting. Use the first link in the description to get 25% off either a Java or a Bedrock server, a server that is hosted online, so you don't have to worry about port forwarding your IP address or keeping your computer on the whole time. Get a server set up in less than 5 minutes with the possibility of adding more than 200 mod packs with just a click of a button. Apex Hosting has locations all around the world, so no matter where you are, you will get a good connection. Something that I personally love about Apex Hosting is that you can set up the server using your phone and you could access the server console using your phone so no matter if you're away from home you could just change the settings kick people out whatever you want to do use the first link for 25% off and now let's keep going with the tutorial now we see that iris the installer just downloaded and let's go ahead and try and drop that file into our desktop this is a jar file and the reason i mentioned this is a jar file is because you're gonna need java to install this file so that's actually going to be our next step any minecraft above minecraft 1.20.5 which includes minecraft 1.20.6 and minecraft 1.21 will need you to have java 21 Okay, so if you have Java 17, Java 18, Java 7, 8, or maybe not even a Java at all, you will need to install Java 21. And no, I'm not talking about Minecraft Java. I'm talking about Java, like the software that will allow you to install custom items for Java, like for example, the Iris installer. Now, I want you to go ahead and double click on the Iris installer. And if you're able to open it, then you're going to skip the next step. You don't need to download Java 21, but chances are most of you won't be able to open it. So go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which is a written guide on how to download and install Java 21. And scroll down until you see the first step in here and click where it says Java 21. That will redirect you to over here where you're going to select JDK 21 right here. You're going to select Windows and then you're going to choose the 64 installer and click on this little blue line in here, which will begin the download immediately for Java or the installer of Java. Now, once Java downloaded, go ahead and drag and drop it into your desktop. So click on this little download arrow right here and go ahead and drag and drop that file into your desktop. This is the Java installer again. And all we have to do now to install Java is just double click on it. It might prompt you with the administrator sign go ahead and allow it to run and as you can see right now it's actually removing my older java and it's going to install again because i already had java 21 but yeah this is most likely what you will get go ahead and click on next in here click next again and now just wait for java to install it should actually be quite simple after java finish installing all you have to do now is click on close and now you could even delete the java installer well just make sure it completely close and then go ahead and delete it there we go and again, now you can go ahead and launch your Iris installer. Guys, you will need Java 21. Okay, trust me, you will need Java 21. You could always go back here into search, type auto remove programs. When you open that up, you could type Java in here. And if you have any older Javas in here, I do recommend that you get rid of them. If you need to reinstall any older Java, you could always head over to our website and just search for Java in here. Just click on search and search for Java. You will get Java, whatever Java you need. Okay, so now that we have Java 21, let's go ahead and launch our Iris installer. By double clicking on it, that will open this menu in here. And all we have to do is select 1.21 and click install let's go ahead and wait for iris to install it should be super simple in here as you can see finish installing by the way make sure that you have your minecraft launcher closed as well as your minecraft game completely closed when installing iris now that iris finished installing let's go ahead and close it now for the next step if you already have some shaders all you have to do is launch minecraft and add your shaders I'm actually gonna go ahead and open my minecraft launcher but i'm assuming most of you watching this video don't have any shaders which is why i'm gonna teach you how to download and install complementary shaders some of the most beautiful looking shaders for minecraft which are the ones you saw in this intro as well again if you already have shaders go ahead and add those and you are good but if you want to get the same shaders as me just go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description which is a written guide on how to download and install complementary shaders unbound feel free to read through the guide as you can see something really cool about these shaders is that they'll make the ores shine or be bright in the dark anyways if you want to download these shaders click on the fourth link scroll down and click download on step one they'll bring you over here you're going to choose 1.21 which should be one of the newest one Click on this little three dots, click download file, and after five seconds, the download will begin for complementary unbound. Go ahead and drag and drop that file into the desktop. Again, if I'm going too fast, guys, just feel free to slow this video down or just pause it as many times as you might need. Now that we have the shaders downloaded, which should be a zip file, go ahead and launch your Minecraft launcher. If you install Iris properly, you should see a selector here automatically. If you don't see Iris there, you can always head over to installations and make sure that modded is selected. As you can see, without modded, we won't see Iris in here. And also, if you don't see Iris in here for whatever reason, you could just click on new installation. 
name this whatever you want like for example apex hosting and then for the version go ahead and find irising here as you can see mine is going to be right here the fourth one but just go ahead and look for it if you need to anyways once you found it go ahead and click on create now that you have irising here you should have it in here just go ahead and click on play and that is going to open your game with shaders however we don't have shaders in the game just yet and we're going to add that in the next step so let's go ahead and wait for the game to open now with the game open let's go ahead and launch a world it could be a single player or a multiplayer world i'm just gonna launch this single player that i have in here the single player world now as you can see i'm here in the game with no shaders at all so in order for us to add the shaders all we want to do now is press the letter o in our keyboard just press the letter o that is going to open this menu in here and in here you're going to click where it says open shader pack folder that is going to open a folder that most likely will be empty for you and i'm actually going to delete my shaders from here and all you have to do now is drag and drop the shader that we downloaded into this folder if you downloaded any other shader this is the moment to go ahead and drag and drop it into here if you downloaded the same one as me just go ahead and drag and drop it into this folder close out from this folder and head back into minecraft and now you should see complementary bound in here go ahead and select it and hit apply give it a second for it to load it all depends on your computer and now just click done and head back into the game and as you can see these are definitely one of the best looking shaders for minecraft and that is pretty much how to install it something pretty cool about iris shaders is that you could always press the letter k on your keyboard so go ahead and hit k and it will take the shaders off and if you hit k again it will put the shaders back up give it a second there we go it will add the shaders again so yeah guys that is pretty much how to download and install iris there's also another way that you could access your shaders which is pressing escape heading over to options clicking on video settings and right here you should see shader packs on the top right here you could open that up and you could add the shaders through here. So that is another way, but I do prefer pressing the letter O and getting right there right away. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much how to download and install shaders for Minecraft 1.21. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. And as always, bye bye.